Hello, Josué. Sandra, Kimberly, Eric, Catherine, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening, exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, ready. Excellent. Excellent. When, you, when you share your knowledge. <laughs> uh -huh. Great. I'm glad that you are here and ready to go for it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, guys, the first thing we want to start with is a little bit about our day. How was our day? What did we do? Is it normal, not normal? Okay. So for this, we're just going to make groups quickly, only a few moments, and then we're going to come back while we wait for the other people. Okay. So very simple. Okay. Hey, how was your day? What did you do? Yes. Okay, teacher. All right. Great. Let me put. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A, listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh, we're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry.
Okay, I see we are back, we are ready. Okay. Aldo Ciro and uh, Nadia, very quiet. We are ready, yes or yes? What did you say, teacher? Sorry. We are ready to continue? Of course. Excellent. I want you to think about the job that you have right now. What is the requirement? What, what do you have to do in your job? How did you get your job? Think about what is a, something that is necessary for your job? So for example, is is necessary to, to be able to type for your job right now? Is necessary to be able to answer the telephone? Is necessary, is necessary to have experience to, in sales? What is a job requirement that you have? In my, my, my case, but I don't have job because I study in the college. But okay. if I if I want if I want to um, join the college, I needed to to have a meeting about only in English. Oh, okay. And oh. and they and they wanted um, around forty five percent of the English. Okay. Okay. So a requirement was English. And in yes. So job requirement is to speak English. Okay, good, good. Anybody else? What is a requirement for your job? In my case, the, the main require is um, have a five year experience in human resource. Um, I need to, to have a several knowledge of the all the process in the human resource. Um, um, in addition, uh, I need um, uh, graduated of the university of the psychology or um, business or oh, well uh, it, this is um, maybe in in two areas uh, okay and i need the the english because the 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 firm is a uh, uh, global and uh, and there are many many communication with other countries and uh, uh, so many people uh, speak english um like a uh, native language okay okay good a lot of requirements in the case of Roxana, and every job is different. Some jobs, no experience necessary. Some jobs, a lot, five years experience, a, a degree, uh, you will need to have this. Other jobs is necessary, have Excel, Word, be able to do uh, the different programs. Today, we're going to look at this topic about what is necessary for a job. Here is 5.1. The topic is, I need a job. Let's listen to the conversation and try to identify what are the job requirements that they talk about and what is the problem? What are the job requirements? What is the problem? Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so 
broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? All right, so part one, what are the requirements? What job is he calling about? A salesman. A salesman. Um, I think when I hear is about a cruise, he was interested in a cruise because he wants to travel a lot. Okay, so not sales, cruise. Okay, anybody else? And what are the requirements? What do you what did you hear? What is necessary for the position? Okay. No problem. Have to work all mm -hmm. day. Work all day. Okay. All right. Where is the job? Where is the job? A cell person. Okay. Uh, I think it's like a uh, entertain in the cruiser, something like that. Okay. All right. Let's listen again and check. Listen and check your understanding. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Okay. So what is the job they are going to call about? Assistant of... Uh, uh, Assistant of the Department Director. Correct. Assistant Entertainment Director on a cruise ship. So they are going to be, where is going to be the job? Where are they going to work? Are they going to work in a church, in a school, in a mall? Where are they going to work? In a cruise ship? In a cruise, in a cruise ship, uh -huh. exactly in a cruise ship. Now let's listen and what else does the job require? Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello, I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh, we're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Hmm. What else is another job requirement? <laughs> Other language. Okay, to speak. How many other languages? Mm. 
One other language? Yeah, that's it. One other, minimum one other language. And it's like in El Salvador. El Salvador, everybody speaks Spanish. But now, in most jobs, it's a requirement, one more language. And especially in El Salvador, English. Some jobs have different languages, like in El Salvador. Some jobs have German or French or Chinese. But the number one in El Salvador is English. Yes. At the work, teacher. Zero? The English is a, a language at the, around the world. Yeah. Yeah. In, in many it's countries. A, it's, a, it's the first language and a uh, level world. Yeah. For business, it's the number one for business. So now with your partner, you are going to imagine you are going to create a job posting. You and your partner are going to create the job position. What do you want in the job? What do you look for? What are the requirements? Okay, so imagine with your partner, you are going to speak like the example, create a job position, okay? Then we are going to interview the partners, okay? Yes, in this moment, number one, what are we going to do, Nadine? Good evening, teacher. Um, for for my jobs, um, I need um, a step. Okay, so right now, number one, first create a job position. What is the job? Assistant, um, assistant entertainment director, secretary, a driver, what a human resource department. This is number one. Number two, okay, is with your partner, is write down the requirements. This is number two. What are the requirements for the position? Is it necessary to speak English? Do you have to be able to use Excel? Do you have to be able to dance, to sing? What? What is the requirements for the position? Okay. And number three, we are going to interview. We're going to interview each other for their position. So one more time, look in the chat, you can see. In the chat is everything. Create job position. Write down the requirements. Interview each other for the position. It's okay? It's okay, it's okay. All right. Yeah. Excellent, all right. So, yes, do we have a question, Rosa? Uh, if you ask me in English, Rosa, ask me in English. I can, I can repeat is um, indicaciones. How do you say indicaciones? Instructions. Excellent instructions. Rosa, no necessary repeat. Only listen, listen and look in the chat. I, I say, I put in the chat. Okay. Look in the chat, Rosa. Do you see in the chat? Sí. Okay. Rosa, what is number one? What is a job request? Okay. So number one is the job position, correct? So secretary, director, doctor, number one. Rosa, what is activity number? What do we do? The number two. What is the activity number two? Um, create a John position. Read the sentence. Number two is write down the requirements. The requirements are the minimum, the minimum standards. Okay, these are the requirements. 
And what is number three? Written down the requirements. No, that's number two. Look in the chat, Rosa. Only have to read from the chat. Uh, the chat, the Zoom? Yes, yes, Rosa. Uh, number two, written down the, 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 the requirements. Requirements. Good, Rosa. And number three? Number three, and interview. Interview. And other for their position. Correct. Very good, Rosa. This is clear. Do you understand, yes. Rosa? It's okay. Excellent. Excellent. So we have three things that we are going to do with our partners. Okay. All right. One more time. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah, All right. Right. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, then teacher. let's do it. Joseph Smith, wow.
Hey, Sonia, any questions? Teacher. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza, she hates cooking, they're good at writing poetry, or I don't mind listening to people's problem, he's not good at playing sports, you can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so, to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither, to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject, or noun or pronoun, after the verb. 
Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Before we go, we want you to agree on the... Ready to know about gerunds and... Okay, any questions about the job interview, the requirement, the positions, the vocabulary? Teacher, and I, I have the practice with the lower desk and uh, um, uh, she um, hired me and I hire her. Hey, excellent. Yes. The two have new jobs. Yes. Excellent. The yes. I know. <laughs> That's good. That's excellent. That is the objective because you are going to use your English for a job interview. Maybe not in this moment, but this year you finish your English classes and you have to think you are going to use the English to apply for a position. You have to be prepared to answer questions about your position. Good. Any other questions or any other comments? No, teacher. Uh, yes, we we was practicing with Sonia, and I don't know how to pronounce uh, customers, clientes. Cost okay, customers. Good. customers. Customers. Correct. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Anybody in else? My case, yes, in my case, I interview um, Sandra as an engineer and uh, I asked I asked her requirements first and then we interview each other so she, she will be a great engineer but I said I would call her when I need it mm, this this is like the, I, I call you I call you <laughs> exactly. I Sandra I Sandra no job no job <laughs> she, she has no experience so I'll, I'll see other curriculums <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. It's like in the university, right? You finish the university, that person, five years experience, less than 25, two degrees, one master, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly, but go to the university, the, the great thing is that they are uh, a fresh and knowledge, so they can be a, a very, very effort, the best effort. So you never know. You never know, it's true, it's true. All right, now we're going to continue with our platform 5.3, 5.3. Let me share my screen so we can see the idea of gerunds, okay? We looked at the position for jobs. Now we're going to look at gerunds and short responses. If you remember, gerunds are only ing. That's it, working, playing, studying. Okay. It's okay, the gerunds? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes, teacher. Good. And today we're going to look at two different things. We're going to look at so, and we're going to look at neither. Do you remember how to use so? Do you remember so? For example, I like pizza. 
And the person said, um, okay, let me so help do you. I. So do so I. I, exactly. So the person says, I like pizza, so do I. Mm -hmm. Or what happened if they say, I don't like, I don't like pizza. How can we agree? Neither I. Correct. Neither do I. Do in, I. The WhatsApp, in the WhatsApp, you see a little bit of charts. This is to help you with the information between so and neither. In this moment, we're going to watch the video so we can remember how to use gerunds and agree or disagree with short statements. And short responses, follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza, she hates cooking, they're good at writing poetry, or I don't mind listening to people's problem, he's not good at playing sports, you can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so, to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither. To agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject or noun or pronoun after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Okay, was there a question? I'm sorry. No, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So really the idea of that video is just to show us that it's not always necessary to make complete sentences. Sometimes all you need to do is know the correct word to answer the partner that me too, the same. So I like to eat pupusas and my partner is not necessary to say, I like to eat pupusas, only me too. And that's a simple way. Or 
if you agree in negative, okay? I don't, I don't like eating pupusas, okay? My partner, neither do I. The important is the auxiliary. If my auxiliary is am, my partner's auxiliary is the verb to be. If my auxiliary is do, my partner auxiliary is do. If mine is can, my partner's is can. It's okay? Okay. Okay, yeah, sure. as an example, uh, I tell Eric, Eric, I can drive a car. Can I do? No. No, Omo, you have the idea. Roxana, I can drive a car. Can do I? No, Josue. Is can I am? No. Neither do I. No. Okay. Good. That's I why can. we practice. It's okay. I can drive a car. My partner, so can I. The two agree. Okay. I can cook. I can cook. My partner, so can I. Auxiliary that you hear, the auxiliary my partner says. Okay. Okay, okay. So, Sandra, I can swim. So, can I? Correct. Ciro, I don't like pupusas. So do I. I don't. I don't like pupusas. I don't like pupusa. Rosa, okay. I don't like pupusas. Um, I like pupusas. Mm -hmm. If you do not agree, if neither, you agree, neither I do I. I. Neither do I, correct. Do I. Correct. So, that's why it's important you look at the chat and here, if the answer is yes, to agree is the so. If the answer is no, but you agree, the answer is neither. These are for agreements. So now, what are we going to do with our partner? We are going to practice making different questions, positive and negative, like my example. So for example, I tell Lourdes, Lourdes, I live in El Salvador. I Sorry, live teacher. In, I live in El Salvador. I live in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. It's a, a question, teacher. Sorry. No, it's a sentence. Yes, it's a How, how do you Afri agree? How do you agree? So do I. Yeah. Correct. So do I. so do I. Very good. It's not necessary for Lourdes to say, I live in El Salvador too. No, so do I. For example, Kimberly, I don't. I don't live in the United States. Uh, neither do I. Exactly. Sonia, I can't, I can't fly a plane. Joseph Smith. Uh, oh, neither uh, can I. Neither can I. Very good. Joseph Smith, I am happy. I am happy. So I am. Josue, is that correct? So I'm I. Correct. There you go, Joseph Smith. 
So am I. Now do you understand what we're going to do with our partners? Yeah. Okay. So let's practice with our partners, make the statements and agree. Only a few moments and we try.
being recorded. Okay. Any questions with neither or so? We are clear. Yes. Yeah, yes. We okay. are in in my case in our group um we have a confusion uh, with uh, for example I can play the guitar. The the correct answer uh, would be so can I. No, because the okay. answer is negative. Negative. So I can't play the guitar. Is neither can I. Neither can I. Okay. And the case the sentence is uh, positive. Uh, the answer is so can I. Correct. Correct. Okay. Because because the auxiliary is can. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Teacher. Yes, Lord. When the, the sentence is affirmative, we use so do I. When the sentence is affirmative, you so. But remember, listen for the auxiliary. If it's can, do, is, are, mm -hmm. yes. am. Yes, okay. If I say okay. I, I, I not good dancing. What? Mm -hmm. How can I answer? Make the sentence. I'm not good dancing. Dance. So the I I am. You say I am. So uh -huh. neither neither there, am um, I. I. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Because the same auxiliary. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you have a nice weekend. Relax, only four more classes. Remember, finish platform one, two, three, four. Monday, we continue chapter five and we finish next week. Okay, okay. see you next week. Okay, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Nice. Bye. 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 Bye.